Hey guys, welcome back to Film Title. Today we'll talk about why Dr. Lee is being sued by one of her patients on Dr. Pimple Popper. Let's head into it. Number 1. Dr. Pimple Popper Dr. Pimple Popper, the new show starring YouTube personality and dermatologist Sandra Lee, premiered last week on TLC. It featured some impressive procedures, including the removal of the biggest lipoma Lee had ever encountered. But the second episode, which aired Wednesday night, offered the series' first truly jaw-dropping moment, the popping of a giant decade-old cyst on a man's thigh. Number 2. Ronan In an interview filmed at his house in New York, Ronan explains that the lump first appeared when he was around 12 years old. He thought the lump would heal on its own, so he just let it be. Then it started to grow into the size of a softball, according to Inok, though to viewers it appeared to be even larger, like a cantaloupe. He said the lump causes excruciating pain during everyday tasks like putting on pants, doing chores or even walking, and now it's almost impossible to run. But he adds that medical professionals haven't taken the growth seriously. I've talked to many doctors about it and they've all told me it's not a big deal. You should leave it alone. They're ignorant about the issue. It causes extreme pain and none of the doctors I visited ever seem to take it seriously. After meeting with Dr. Pimple Popper, things changed drastically for Ronan. Not in a good way though. Ronan said during an interview, I feel disappointed. I feel very frustrated and I feel very angry. Number 3. The reasons that made him sue Dr. Pimple Popper. People go to great lengths to hide embarrassing skin imperfections, from applying cover-up makeup over the area to hiding it with bangs or a hat. We've all been there. So why would anyone let Dr. Pimple Popper film their blemishes for millions to see online? The same reason we do many things in life. Money, said Ronan. Lee told Forbes that she offers to do the procedure for free if patients let her film and post it on YouTube. Of course, I make them anonymous and remove anything identifying. Literally, they all say yes. She explained that none of these procedures are covered by insurance because they're benign, but these patients really want these things to be removed. It's totally a win-win situation. My patients win because they get their blackheads removed for free. I win because I get to take it out and put the video on YouTube. But according to Ronan, the procedure was not fully free of cost. He explained that Dr. Lee convinces her patients for the surgery to be posted on her YouTube channel for millions of people to see by offering them what she calls a free of cost procedure, but fails to mention all the hidden charges that are later added making a huge bill. Although, when it comes to the actual free procedure, it only applies to small cysts and blackheads. As for lipomas and huge or multiple cysts, the patient is required to pay the full amount. Ronan did have to pay a few hidden charges, which totaled up to $1,800. Number 4. Her line of dangerous products. For $20, you can buy the Dr. Pimple Popper Comedone Extractor, build on the Dr. Pimple Popper website as the same utensil Lee uses in her videos, and squeeze out your own blackheads and whiteheads. But should you? Nylon reported that all the skincare professionals they spoke to advised against home extractions. Other dermatologists believe that amateur poppers are less likely to cleanse the treatment area beforehand and disinfect it afterwards. To be fair, those steps are clearly stated on the Dr. Pimple Popper Comedone Extractor page, but that doesn't mean everyone will follow the instructions. Ronan explained how these extractions led to scars, especially because the instructions were not clear and the general consumer doesn't have any experience in that field. Well and Good reported that the national spa franchise, Clarins, is against the practice because of the potential skin damage. Needless to say, Lee doesn't agree with those who believe Comedone extractors can damage the skin. That is BS, she told Mental Floss. Number 5. Doesn't respect her work or co-workers Although this doesn't sound like a reason for someone to be sued, we can sure take into consideration that these behaviours do add up to a bad reputation. The days of Lee filming, editing and uploading every video herself using her iPhone and iMovie are no more. She now has a team helping her, but it took some getting used to as Lee likes to be hands-on with every aspect of the operation. I have a little bit of a problem letting go because I feel like it's my responsibility, Lee told Old mental floss. They're my patients, and I try to keep them private and anonymous. If the team leaves something in accidentally, then I'll feel really bad, but it's harder and harder to do every video. The reality show proves to be an even bigger test for Lee. She'll have less control due to the fact that she'll be dealing with direction from producers and TLC. This is something really stressful to me, and I think the reason is that there's a loss of control for me, Lee said on YouTube. I'm a control freak for sure. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.